All right, everybody, with that being said, I want to move on to my favorite part of the show, and that is, of course, Gun Talk. And today for Gun Talk, I want to answer a question from a viewer. They asked me, is the new Rock Island STK100 going to be the gun that finally is the Glock killer? And if you're not familiar with the Rock Island STK100, it's basically a Filipino Glock. Looks very much like a Gucci Glock. The biggest notable difference being that it has an actual aluminum frame instead of polymer, much like a SIG P320 AXG, except it doesn't have grip panels as far as I know. And like I say, it's Filipino, it's from the Philippines. Now you might ask yourself, how can you tell a gun is Filipino? Well, usually you can tell because it's riding a Vespa scooter with seven other guns and a goat and carrying a baby. That's the easiest way to tell. But uh, like I said, this is a Filipino Glock. And they asked me, is it gonna be the Glock killer? Well, the answer to that is no, I don't think it will be. Because there's no such thing as the Glock killer. Every time someone makes a new revolver, it's not the Smith & Wesson killer. And same thing when someone makes a new polymer gun. It's not the Glock killer. Because I hate to break it to you, even though these guns might be awesome, and everything I've seen about this gun so far has been positive, they still don't have the reputation and the real-world experience of a Glock. Glocks have been there, done that. They've proven themselves. Some new polymer gun isn't going to just suddenly kill them. Everyone likes Glock, and there's a certain, uh, I don't know, desirability to owning a Glock. It's kind of like, you know, how uh, the Kia Stinger is a fucking awesome car. But people aren't rushing out to buy them in droves because most people don't want to say, I own a Kia. People want to say, I own a Mercedes, a BMW. And even though the Stinger might be better than a lot of the BMWs, which it Here's a little secret, it is. People still don't want to say I have a Kia. They want to say I have a BMW. So it's kind of the same with these guns. How many people want to say I got a Rock Island? Blah, blah. No, nobody does. But is it a good gun? Yeah, it's probably a good gun. And there are a lot of people who don't care about the name and they'll buy it because it's a good gun. But it ain't going to kill Glock. Because like I said, not only does Glock have the reputation and the real world performance to back it up, but they also have that name recognition. And there's always going to be people who want a Glock. So nothing is going to kill them. And the, and the people who say, they need to evolve. No, they don't. They need to stay light, right? Like they are. Because I want Glock to always be an option. I don't want Glock to become something else. That's like if you always liked the Ford Mustang and it was a muscle car and you loved that, you're a little depressed that it's becoming a sports car. Because there's no Mustang left, really. There's the thing that used to be a Mustang. Uh, and that's similar with Glocks. I don't want them to change. I want them to stay the same. I want them to always be there for the people who want them. And I think they will be because, like I said, a lot of people love the name and they know they're proven. Now, will their market share become less and less? Well, of course. When they were the only polymer striker-fired gun in town, well, they controlled all the market. Well, the other gun manufacturers jumped into that market. So they're always getting a little less of the overall share each year. All it takes is a few people to buy a, this gun instead of a Glock and they lose a little of their market share. That doesn't mean they're still not doing very well. Still doesn't mean they're probably not the top, one of the top selling polymer guns. They're just not going to control the market forever. Eventually, other people catch up. And that's what's happened. The gun industry's caught up. A lot of manufacturers make polymer guns now. So they are going to lose market share, but I think they're always going to be a big part of the market. And they may have to adjust their business model a little bit to be a smaller part of the market, even though I think the market's growing. So they're still getting good sales, but I think they'll always be there. I don't think anything's going to kill them. Not the STK100, not the P320, not any gun. Nothing's going to kill the Glock because I think enough people appreciate the Glock enough and know how good of a gun it is that it'll always be there for people who want one.